Welcome back YouTube. Today is gonna mark one of the scariest days of working on the Z. And if you guys don't already know by the thumbnail, it's time to cut this thing up. Oh, and a couple changes, couple things happen, or a couple decisions have been made. Um, I got the car out right now. As you can see, still got all of my stuff in there. So I'm cutting out this whole speaker box right here. Um, it has to be one of the most scariest things I ever had to do because I'm going to be cutting up the car and it's just like, damn, I've really gone too far. <laughs> but we're not quitting. We're not quitting until this thing is on point. Now, the scariest part of doing this is my gas tank is still in. And as you guys remember from the last video, I told you that I was going to drop my gas tank. We switched that all up. <laughs> so I did a little bit of research on dropping my gas tank out of the Z and you have to drop the whole rear subframe in order to get the gas tank out. Now I was like, that is just way too much work. I know there's a different way to do that and there is not. So what we are gonna do, I've seen a couple people do it. I've asked one of my um, locals here that has done it already before and um, he said, yeah, he did it with the gas tank in and everything, you just gotta be very careful. So I'm gonna take some extra precautions to make sure that gas tank doesn't blow up as I'm cutting it. With that all being said, I say let's go ahead and get cracking. Um, as you guys already saw, we got the Sawzall in there. Um, we got a towel in here for extra precaution. I kind of stuffed it in the hole there. That's my one of my fuel pumps and the other fuel pump is over there. Good news, I've already drained all of the gas out of there i just took the uh fuel pump housing and everything out of there and i sucked it all out with a electric pump that i had as you can see in here we got all the gas everything inside of there and honestly let me show you this product everybody should always use this like this is like the best product i've ever had i've spent only 12 bucks for it if anybody ever needs to siphon gas do anything um i mean drain fluids get anything that you need to suck out I would suggest this product. Go over to Harbor Freight. You guys probably already know what this is, but it's a liquid transfer pump. It's all battery powered. So it literally works so good, like so good. When it says right here, pumps over six quarts per minute, it's true. <laughs> it is so true. That thing ripped my gas tank like so quick. It took me literally, it took me probably like 30 seconds to drain my whole gas tank. This is so worth it. I spent $11.99 at Harbor Freight for this thing. Highly recommended, for sure. We've already kind of started on the cutting of the uh, the part. So which what I've already done is I already taken out all the little necessary bolts and got all the little spot wells and things like that already cut out. If I go into the back of the car here, there's a couple bolts that you have to take out along this edge. And then you have to drill out some spot welds on the chassis there. And um, that's pretty much it. And then you got a lot more that's coming through there and then down there, but we're gonna cut this part off and get a couple more spot welds down to the bottom. Now, with that being said, I haven't got the spot welds that you have to get like down here, there, 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 all the way across. Um, you do have to take out this piece, which I already did. There's uh, four bolts. So there's two bolts on this side, two bolts on this side that are underneath inside of the transmission tunnel that you have to get out super easy. And then there's 12 millimeter bolts all the way around it, which I already got off. So that's what I did off camera. But now I'm gonna put you guys on that tripod and um, we're gonna start cutting out the speaker trim um, or the speaker box. I am gonna take actually a little bit of extra precaution because I know this won't hold. If this catches on fire, of course, the rags will probably catch on fire too. Luckily, there's no gas in the gas tank, but that's not saying that there's no fumes or anything inside of there still that can spark. So what I'm gonna do is actually, I'm gonna grab my little phone gun that I have fill it up with water and I'm gonna spray this all down with water before I start sawing. That's just an extra precaution for me. It just makes me feel more safe and I'm gonna fully wet this rag as well. That way things just don't catch on fire really easy. So that's gonna be kind of my strategy on it. Now uh, let's just go ahead and get cutting baby. Let's get it. So we only got that far. I'm gonna have to make a run. Look at that blade. <laughs> it been as blades, bro. It was totally my fault though. I wasn't cutting straight and it actually hit the inside of the, the hole down there and then it didn't cut it. So it just bent it right up. So I'm gonna have to make a run and uh, get some stronger blades. Now I do have like three more of these blades. So I'm gonna use those up before I make the run. So I'm gonna put you guys back on that time lapse. Let's get it.
we are figuring out more stuff as we go. Just figured out that it is gonna be much more important to get all the spot welds done because the cutting is just gonna take way too long and there's certain angles that you just cannot get inside of here right now. I already gotten on that little time lapse that you've seen. I've already gotten that spot weld and that spot weld, all those spot welds done on the bottom side there. But I'm figuring out that there's a lot more spot welds right on the top up here, like everywhere. Then if you go into the back side, there's a lot of spot welds on the back side as well. And then there's a little bit of like tack welds and stuff on the back side here. You can see that's where I was uh, just trying to cut. And honestly, it's not gonna work. Um, just the way blade is going in, it's just not long enough. Just a lot of stuff just not working. So just gonna have to take off all these spot welds and just do it the right way. And it's a lot slower, but that's the way it's gonna have to be done. And honestly, with that, the blade is just shearing off teeth if you is you can see that it's just not working efficiently so I'm just gonna have to take out all these uh, spot welds and hopefully everything just comes out um, in one piece we're gonna go ahead and get that going and uh, I'll slide you guys to the next slide gotcha boom alrighty guys you guys are live in the garage it is literally like 10 at night I've been running and gunning on this fucking <laughs> rear end yo it's been a pain in the ass getting all these spot welds out like this definitely has to be the hardest thing I've ever done on the Z. Like, so we got the, the top speaker part done and uh, cut out. Now what we gotta do is we gotta cut out all of this here, which I'm probably gonna do tomorrow. Um, so I'm not gonna do it tonight just cause it's way too loud to be cutting right now. Fix up some of the spot wells that way it's super easy. As you can see, I got one little corner out right here. And then this corner right here still needs to come out. You have to actually get all of these little spot welds that are around it. And uh, that's the only way you're going to be able to get that thing out. So I'm glad it's coming out easy now. We're on the easy part because that was definitely the most hardest part I've done. I did that for, I was working on that for probably like a good solid four hours <laughs> just to get that part. This ain't no joke. <laughs> this ain't no joke. I cannot wait to be done with this, y'all. Let's go ahead and slide on to that next slide. And hopefully I'm all done with that. Let's get it. Okay. The time is now it is now it has been about mm, roughly about two days since the last time you seen that clip today is the day all right we're just gonna go ahead and get this shit done so we already got the top speaker trim out that top piece that was right there got it sitting over here and damn that thing is heavy like it is heavy so this is definitely losing a lot of weight doing this but i still have to cut all of this out all the way up, all the way around, and get this whole um, box out of there. We got the hard part done, which is that part. So now we can just cut all the way through and get this stuff going, baby. Got the real street shirt on today, two Jay-Z back. I don't know if y'all saw that, but we about to go ahead and get cracking on this rear end. Come along with me, let's knock it out. I don't even recognize my car anymore. 
<laughs> that still looks the same, right? It still looks the same. Oh, what do we got there? Sheesh. The Z almost got back seats. <laughs> That's crazy, yo. We got all this stuff knocked out. We got the last bit of section to do, which actually we're gonna do here in a second. Um, I'm already kind of drilling out little holes and everything for the uh, spot wells and things like that. I still got two more back there. Should be able to go ahead and knock that thing out, but y'all, hear me out. None of the bumpers or anything are, is attached, so don't focus on all the little gaps and everything. Nothing's really attached. The hood has no hinges or anything on it. The thing is just, just dead. It's just dead. Bay is painted black. Still gonna have to go back to the shop anyway to get more stuff don't going on it but tell me not sheesh got that new wheel in there as well looking good we're gonna put the seat in there so we can see what it looks like there is a ton more room in here for a cage now and honestly i'm quite liking it low-key getting to me at first when i was cutting this i'm like why am i even doing this right now thing only has I mean, you can't tell now, but this thing only has 50,000 miles on it and it has no engine, no transmission, no nothing, but it's going to be all refreshed with Toyota parts. <laughs> Y'all do not understand how much work this shit is. If you have a Z and you are looking to gut it, actually, if you are gutting it, go the full route. I'm just sitting here looking at it. Is this what a drag car feels like? This is starting to look more and more like a drag car. Tell me not. Sheesh. It looks like something that's gonna fly down the track. All right, in the comments, I know it's kind of early, but in the comments, when I get this 2J in, what do you guys go down in the comments and let me know what pass we're gonna make when we get this done? It's gonna be full weight reduction. Um, we're gonna have a cage in there. Think I might, actually no. I thought I was gonna shoot nitrous, but actually since I went a 10 to one compression ratio on my motor, um, I have a really high compression, so I'm gonna have to run all E85, so I think that'll do just enough, but um, we'll see as we go. Of course, this is my first drag build that I'm actually doing, so who really knows how this is really gonna go? But um, weight reduction mods now. Um, the next video is gonna finally, I mean finally detail and get all of that sound deadening, all this stuff out of here. That's gonna be one hell of a mission, but I cannot wait to get it done and have this full interior clean because it's like really dirty from all the shavings and holes everywhere. And actually, I might have a surprise for you guys in the next episode. I think I'm gonna try to learn how to weld on my own. I think that's gonna be crazy. I'm just gonna honestly just get like a little MIG welder because um, if you guys can see all the holes that we made, look at all these holes. Look at all those. I need to fill those. Like, are they even necessary? Now, if you have gutted your 350 before, um, or if you've tracked it, done time attack, time attack, drag, whatever, and you've gone the point that I've gone so far, let me know in the comments or hit me up on my Instagram, Solo Boy Gary, and let me know if it's worth it to go ahead and just weld all these holes, if it's worth it. Now, I'm gonna try to do it myself. I just wanted a cleaner look. It kind of looks like Freddy Cougar right now. So I wanna get a lot of these holes kind of patched up and like grind it down. That way it's a little more of a smooth surface and it looks a lot better um, when the cage and all the black and everything goes in. But um, yeah, let me know in the comments if you have more experience than I do. Of course, I have no experience doing this. This is why this is making me very anxious and I cannot wait for this to happen. And I'm, I'm loving every step of the way because I'm just doing everything myself. No help, no anything. Well, actually, I'm not gonna say no help. I am watching videos and things of people doing it as well, which is motivating me to do more and more on this car. So I hope you guys are enjoying it. But with that all being said, y'all, Thank y'all so much for watching this video. I'm gonna end it here. I have a little bit more work to do. Um, and um, next episode is gonna be crazy. Next episode is gonna be crazy. Um, it's gonna be a little bit more intense than this one. This one, I'm sorry I didn't get more detailed shots for you guys. This was just a lot of work. I'm just everywhere, cramped in this car. Six, two guys sitting in a damn near what? I'm already, I'm, like I'm crouching all the way down to where my knees are damn near hurting and my fucking head is already hitting the roof. Like this car is little, but we making it big. We gonna make it a big body bends. Nah, I'm just fucking around. Thank y'all again. Go down in the comment section, um, hit that like, subscribe button. That way I can get this uh, video out to more people and I can make more intelligent content for you guys. Just produce out more videos for you guys. I'm trying to get it on the road to a thousand followers or a thousand subscribers. Um, that way um, we can get this channel monetized. And I think we can do it because I got a lot of good content coming out for you guys. Not only the Z, but more builds down the road. Thank you guys for being with me. I'll see you guys in the next one.